G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Doing a meal review again for the track. And it is from the On Track Meals. It's their gourmet meals for the outdoors. Australian owned and made. So that's a big positive for us living in Australia. Uh, let's call it the mild chili con carne. This Mexican inspired meal is made with lean mints and a real crowd pleasure uh, with its light hint of chili. Oh, pleaser, not pleasure, sorry. So let's go down the instructions. I'll take my glasses up a bit. Heating instructions. You can place a sealed pouch in boiling water for three to five minutes or empty pouch into a pan and heat through. Do not microwave this pouch. Best enjoyed with rice, pasta or mashed potato. Store in a cool, dry place. Refrigerate once opened. And they say you can go and uh, yeah, try out their full delicious range from ontrackmeals.com.au. Uh, what else we've we got here? Oh, they've also got another one, on track expeditions. That's all one word, dot com dot au so you can go and join them on their expeditions nutrition value let's go down for one serving so that's 250 grams energy is uh, 1540 kilojoules okay plus protein 28 grams fat total 13 grams of which set Created is 4.1 grams carbs 33 grams uh, which uh, and then I've got here sugar 6.7 grams and sodium is 790 milligrams ingredients tomato pulp 31% uh, and in brackets got crushed tomato acidity regulator E330 red kidney beans Beef mince, water, celery, onion, carrot, red capsicum, Mexican spice, and canola oil, salt, garlic, sugar, firming agent, acidity regulator, antioxidant. And contains soy sulfites. May contain peanuts. Uh, they put that there because it said made in a facility that also makes products in the same production lines contain gluten, uh, crustacea, egg, fish, milk, peanuts, uh, sesame, soy, tree nuts, lupin, sulfites, um, and they then may therefore be present. And it's halal suitable. And they say made in Australia from at least 38% Australian ingredients. At the bottom, they've got a little gauge thing there. That says real food, not dehydrated, hot in three minutes. Now, I've not been able to get out today. Well, the last few days, I've been busy here at home. And you may hear a bit of noise because the house being built opposite. And they've got some people over there working at the moment. So hopefully they keep it a little bit lower, a little bit quieter. And I've had this, I think I bought this last year. And let's see, yeah, good. Uh, best before the 13th and the 9th, 2023. So you're gonna have two, two or three years life shelf on that. And like I said, it's not as light as dehydrated. It's uh, about two and a half times heavier, but you're getting a real meal. So it may be good if you're doing an overnight or just a couple of days. Or for the back of your car, if you're going anywhere with a family, you could just heat something up. Or just have, have it as an emergency ration at home in the cupboard, just in case. So what I'm going to do is, as if I was out in the bush, I'm going to do it all on my little stove, in my pot, and eat it out the packet. So it's my little BRS stove. Now, a little story about this. When I bought this 
people were saying they're not that good, they don't last that long. So I bought, I can't remember if it, I think I bought three of these. And that was 10, 12 years ago. And I'm still on the first one. Another advantage about doing this at home, I can use a ca uh, the canisters with little gas in there. And I've got a couple of others that are nearly empty, which I could just add on if it runs out. Right, let's get this set up. I'll put that, and that's a 750ml pot from Tokes. Fold it over. So you can see it takes up about half of the pot. Let's add the water. Dock of smell gas, I left that turned on. Okay. We'll do we'll put it so it's still in view. Bring the handles out. Now, it's going to take a bit longer than a normal three minutes, they say, because I've put it into cold water. Or should I say, I've put cold water into there. So I've got to heat the cold water until it's at the boiling temperature, then it's going to take about three minutes from that point. So I'll speed the camera up now, let the video go at a higher speed so you don't have to sit here for the next five minutes or so. Now while that's still heating up, I'll show you another four of theirs that I'll be testing and tasting and reviewing over the coming weeks or so. And the first one I'm looking forward to is the slow cooked Australian steak. The next one I've got here to do is a sweet and sour pork. Oh, that's boiling. Let's try and turn it down. Right. <laughs> I should have had a cloth, but yeah. The next one was the sweet and sour pork. Another one is a tender lamb and pearl barley. And the last one I've got is the coconut ginger chicken. So I'm looking forward to uh, testing these and tasting them. Let's go and get a cloth. Now all these meals and reviews are doing all the equipment I've got. I buy these myself so the reviews are honest and I'll tell you if I don't like something and if you look in the past a, one of the meal reviews or two or three of the meal reviews I wasn't too keen on them uh, two of them I couldn't eat so go back and look to 
all the videos there about all the different meals and hiking meals I'd uh, review. And I'm fucking maybe getting warm. You know, I can feel it in the bag heating up. And even if I did have anything sent to me, I'd be honest. I've had companies say, can we send you this and can you say this about this item? And I've said, no, don't bother. I don't want to know that. The whole idea is to be honest and give you an honest review. I think that's had, let's have a look. We've got, it's had three minutes at the boiling point. So let's see if it does take only three minutes to warm up. So let's turn it off. A lot quieter now. Got some kitchen towel to put it on to catch all the. Yeah, that feels hot. forward to this I've left it to make this video until I'm actually hungry and where are we now I think it's about midday here or just past midday so. oh nearly went all the way let's give it on the talk that's better Oh, smells good. Oh, yeah. Don't know if you'll be able to see that in there. That's... Oh. Let's get a spoon in, shall we? Give it a bit of a stir. It's not for you. This is human food, mm, not cat food. Can you go down? Are you gonna go down? Come on, come on, puss. Down you go, little buddy. There you go. He's <laughs> spoilt. Whenever I have some meat, he always wants some off the plate, and being soft, I give him it. So again. <laughs> Look at that. Let's try and get closer to the camera. Hmm? Is it burning my hands? Ouch. Yeah, it does get hot that quick in here. You won't eat it. Oh. See? Oh, you're licking your lips. You'll give it a go, would you? <laughs> no, 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 that's hot. Come on, down you go now. Come on. And one thing I'll say is, it tastes a lot better than eating the dehydrated stuff. Spice-wise, there is a, a tingle. Now, I'm used to very hot food. I can eat chilies, just raw, I can, fresh. But with that, I can actually feel a tingle at the back of my tongue and just, yeah, oh, my tongue is tingling. Yeah, everything's cooked nice. Oh, I can see some of the chilli seeds in there now. I don't think the camera will pick it up. But I don't know if you can see any of them chilli seeds in that. Oh, I'll be honest, it is nice. It's not the best one I've had. I've had another brand of MRE in the chili, which, being honest with you, was 
better but it is up there it's not far off that one now kidney beans in it they're cooked just nice you have to bite some but there's no crunch it's not raw it's not hard the, the actual mince itself is nice every spoon I've had has had mince on it and beans but that's all I think there's one bean looking at it there at the front no two beans the rest of that is mince the, the, the meat yeah I like it okay it's not the best chili one I've had it's probably about the second best I've had but it is a nice one is it worth carrying that extra weight well that extra weight carrying some decent meals for me instead of carrying one kilo with uh, 10 meals I'll, I don't mind carrying three meals with 10 decent meals in it because yeah, you're going to have your first couple of days where the weight's going to be up there but as you eat the weight's going to drop quicker and quicker and quicker as you eat through I would buy it again I will buy it again should I say not I would I will buy it again and if the other one that I normally eat which is I prefer over this one isn't in stock this will be the next on my list to buy like I said I'd rather carry a little bit extra weight and have a half decent meal than something that's going to be dry and gritty and not have the flavour properly or the taste yeah but like I said I bought this myself that's what I really think of it and honestly think of it so I hope you've enjoyed the video and you appreciate that that was a totally honest review and you've enjoyed the video and if you're not a subscriber please go down below and click on the subscribe button click the thumbs up button hit the notification bell and select all so you can notified of all future videos and if you are already a subscriber again I thank you very much. Now, I'm going to finish this off.